Hey, Lucy. Let's check the chickens first. See if there's anything in the box. Oh, hey, girl. Still early, I guess, for them. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Excuse me. So, got the mixer. Taps are just running. Any frogs, Lucy? Any frogs yet? Hey. It's just above zero Celsius, so the sap is just, yeah, you know, I can feel it's just starting to run here. So we'll give it a couple hours and probably empty them, but. No need to right now. Check these ones. I think it's time for a new flag too. Uh, still so cold all the goldfish and stuff are hiding. Frozen. And again, I can. Oh yeah, I can feel that there's sap here. These ones are completely empty because there is no sun at all. I got one more down the hill. Another one. What do you see, Liz? What do you see? A chipmunk? Get him! about 10 gallons of sap from our six trees and got it boiling away here. Take a look. But it's hot. Yeah, it's just coming up to a boil here. So it's at a rolling boil right now. Propane tank's getting a little bit low, but that's okay. So I'm not expecting much sap. I'll have a quick shake of the bucket here and see what happens. Oh yeah, you know what? They're a good quarter full. I'm gonna have to come out here and empty these, I guess. There's another one way back there. Let's walk over and have a quick peek. Get another look in the pond. We have a bunch of 
big koi in there and a couple of goldfish. It's nice to see the ice melted. The pond's only up to my waist. That's still nice. Boy, it's never breezy today. It's cold, actually. These are almost half full again. Well, that's fantastic. So I'm gonna have to go in the house, have some breakfast, another cup of coffee, and then probably come back out around 10 a.m. and empty all these buckets. And when I empty them all, I've been getting about five gallons in total so we're on a batch right now that should produce about a liter by the end of the day and then we'll collect for the next day or two and see if we can make a second liter yeah these ones aren't quite as full and way in the distance there I got a uh, two more on that tree check and I got a couple more down the hill in the backyard I even discovered some more maple trees I didn't realize we had but I ran out of taps I only have 12 taps yeah this one this one's a much bigger tree but it's not been producing I definitely find it needs to go down minus four at night for the pressure to build up for that one to really produce a lot of syrup. You can't see them on camera, but I do have a couple more down there. They got a different kind of bucket just, again, you can't see it from here. So I boiled the sap last night. Probably started at eight in the morning and kept adding to it. And oh, it was well after 10 o'clock last night when I, I shut it off for the night. But I had to build this. Um, had some old window frames and had to build this bit of a windbreak on there. Take the lid off and so, yeah, that's going to go all day. I keep the lid half on. I know a lot of people take the lid right off, but it's so windy that um, if I take the lid right off, it doesn't hit the boiling point because it's cold enough. So I take the lid off a little bit, and um, it seems to be working, and... When I started yesterday, I had a half a bottle of propane, and then we filled it up yesterday afternoon, and I'm going to say, sadly, we're going to have to fill it up again probably today to finish off this process. So, for those of you that maple sir do maple syrup, you're definitely doing it for the love of the syrup. Uh, you don't want to think about sometimes what the cost is, whether you're burning with wood or you're doing it inside on a stove. Um, it, it's great fun, but it's uh, it's definitely not a cheap thing to do. So, anyways, for now uh, we'll let it go, and I'll check back in a couple hours and see how the the boiling's doing, and maybe dump all my buckets and show everybody how much we got uh, from the six trees we tapped. Yeah, jars, pretty cool. This pot two hours ago was right to the top, and it's about half full, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And we want it to finish at around 219, 220. Stay tuned. Bit more of a golden color. Not bad for March 31st. We're going uh, to make another batch here tomorrow. We've been collecting some sap. It's supposed to freeze overnight. And then get up to 14 sometime tomorrow. So 
looking for and that'll be our our fourth batch and we're getting about a liter and a half out of two liters every batch stay tuned